how to get more likes in life and on any social media platforms. The untold story of love, the sun, love, rainbow, theory. Million years ago, this universe consisted of only the sun, and the sun had increasing and unending amount of light. Each and every single second, sunlights were born within the sun. However, shortly, some of the sunlights became jealous of the sun. They decided to light on their own and departed from the sun. Some of them became stars, others made planets and the moon. Momentarily, they stopped shining. Thus, day and night were born. From that moment, life could be understood only through dualities. Our world reminds the universe scattered by millions of stars, planets and the moon. Now there are all 7 billion lonely stars on this planet called Earth. Yes, there are billions of us now, but we feel lonelier than ever before. Why? Back to my story. Yet, no matter how hard they tried, none of them could shed a light even on a single city, not even all together. All they were capable of doing was to reflect the sun. As many of us are aware, social media platforms have highlighted our loneliness even more. We have lost our hesitation and shame of asking people to like us. Meanwhile, the sun didn't lose its glory. It was still shining. It was still at war. Now we never have enough. When we get one like, we want ten more. When 1,000 people like us, it seems less than 1 million. And then stars started a war among them to get more lights from each other. We have lost our sun, the source where we were meant to be. It can never disappear though. It is right here and always within each and every one of us. How did we forget about the sun? One day, the sunlights remained in the sun made a glorious rainbow after the rain. Its colors were different from one another. All stars, planets, and the moon were in awe of the beauty of the rainbow. To differentiate the colors, they coined new words such as red, green, blue, yellow, black, and so on. We have over 6,000 and 500 languages on our planet. Yet, there are some things that cannot be or do not have to be translated at all. Our feelings. If you meet an African woman, you can understand that she is happy if she smiles or sad if she cries even though you don't speak her language at all. Thus, the planets, stars and the moon have forgotten the truth. The truth was that the colors of the rainbow 
wore the sunlight after the rain, but they were still sunlight, the sun. What kind of sun are we talking about? What causes you to understand feelings such as happiness, sadness, excitement, even in the people whose language you don't know? It is love. Yes, we, most of us, have turned or are turning into lonely planets, stars, or the moon. How is it happening? Why? Because just like the departed sunlights, we stopped sharing. Instead, we tend to get more to shine brighter than others. This is the never-ending like me game. And we are the ones who are playing it. At that moment, the stars realized something. One with the sun, they wore the sun. Apart from it, they were mere stars, dark and cold planets or the lonely moon. What is love? Is it the heart-shaped button we click when we like someone or something? Just like the colors of the rainbow which originate from the sun, we have coined too many names and languages to recall the source. Like the colors of the rainbow, love has its own colors. We call them compassion kindness, acts of service, gifts, likes, and many more. They also differ from a language to a language. Yet, the truth is undeniable. The sun, love, is the source of light. Have you ever seen a rainbow at night? Neither of the planets or stars can cause a rainbow. Likewise, if we keep demanding that people should love us more or feel discouraged if they don't, will remain cold and dark stones. We can control our actions, but not their consequences. Yet, we can choose the right actions to get a desirable outcome. What is that right action? The answer is to get back to the source. One with the sun. The lights were the sun. One with love. We are love. Let's get back to the source. How can we do that? Instead of counting how many likes we get on social media, Let's count how many likes, words of kindness, and sincere smile we could share at the end of each day. To share is our right action. What about the consequences? The sun has been at work for millions of years. It was still is and will keep shining. Let's be like the sun. Let's share 
without expecting anything in return before requesting credit for it. Have you ever stopped or taken a moment to thank the sun for its noble work? How about God? Though God is the Almighty and perfect in any possible ways, He is still at work. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here now. This is what I learned from the ancient wisdom of the Bhagavad Gita, the Tao Te Ching, the Bible, and the Quran. Let's be like Him. I want to challenge you to live sharing your words of kindness, sincere smile, acts of service, what love is all about. Even if it is just a video or story, keep sharing and inspiring. Then watch the consequences yourself. I want to end my words with a quote from the Bible. God is love and whoever abides in love abides in God and God abides in him. Thank you.